today the topic is line to line fault on an unloaded generator so this is the circuit diagram for uh, an unloaded generator so here we can observe line to line fault between line b and line c okay so here the neutral is connected to ground through some reactance zn okay so under this fault condition we can observe some observations that uh, fault current is equal to ib which is equal to minus ic and also since the generator is under no load ia is going to be zero okay and also one more observation that vb and vc are same okay so these are the observations so call it as equation 1 the collective all the collective observations will be called as equation 1 so from these observations firstly we are considering the first condition first observation that is vb equal to vc so now we are substituting this observation in symmetrical components of voltage equations so this is the symmetrical components of voltage equations okay equation now in this equation usually will be having vc here but we are substituted this condition that is vc equal to vb so that's why instead of vc we can write vb here so now we are converting this matrix equation into a normal equation form like this okay so we are more bothered about positive and negative sequences first so that's why uh, and because why we are bothering because we are having vb as common so that's why we are writing the relations for va1 and va2 so if we write so you can observe that the two equations are same so that's why va1 equal to va2 we can write so we have considered symmetrical components of voltages now we consider symmetrical components of currents okay so if we consider the symmetrical components of currents then ia0 ia1 ia2 okay so these are the symmetrical components of currents is equal to like this these are unbalanced currents now uh, from our observations under line to line fault conditions we are substituting these conditions into this equation if we do so ia will be zero ib will be minus ic ic will be ic only okay and again we are converting this matrix equation into a normal equation form then we get the relation for ia0 ia1 and ia2 so from these three equations we can observe that if we take minus as common then it will be ia2 is equal to minus ia1 or ia1 equal to minus ia2 so whatever the condition may be same now we have considered sequence uh, symmetrical components of voltages and symmetrical components of currents and we made some uh, equations now it is the time to consider the sequence networks of the generator so this is the equation for the sequence networks of generator so in this equation we are substituting this condition so instead of uh, ia2 what we can write minus ia1 we can write if we write so we'll be getting the relation like this again we are converting this matrix equation into a normal equation form if we do so we'll be getting the equation like this va0 is 0 va1 and va2 relations so uh, what is the third equation third equation is nothing but va1 equal to va2 right so va1 equal to va2 so that's why we can relate va1 as this relation is equal to va2 from this relation we can write the current equation ia1 so here we need to understand one point that since va1 equal to va2 so here positive and negative sequence networks of the generator must be in parallel so that's why they were connected in parallel okay so and va0 is what is zero so that's why zero sequence network is shorted and so it is not to be considered so that's why we have not drawn any kind of zero sequence network here so since this type of fault does not involve any kind of ground because the fault itself indicates it's a line to line fault the neutral current is zero hence the presence or absence of ground neutral at the generator does not affect the fault current okay so now what is the fault current what is the fault current the fault current is nothing but ib or which is equal to minus ic clear so now we are using the same here the same observation here so now 
this fault current is IB which is equal to minus IC. If somehow I can get the relation for IB then automatically I am going to find the relation for the fault current. So now I have considered the unbalanced currents using symmetrical components of currents. So from this equation I can write the relation for IB as this row into this column. Okay. Now what I am doing I am substituting the conditions. What are the conditions? IA0 as 0 and IA2 equal to minus IA1. Okay. So now we substitute these conditions. Then it will be IB is, IB is equal to what is IA0? 0. zero. Okay, keep I a, square, a square into I a 1 plus A into instead of I a 2 what I can write? Minus I a 1 I can write. So, I a 1 into A square minus A. So, if I got the relation for I b, default I got the relation for fault current. That is it. I f equal to I b which is I a 1 into A square minus A. In this way we can find the fault current when line to line fault has been occurred in the unloaded generator. Okay, so I hope you understand.